Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So I can't believe this will be our last video before Christmas. So this one's going to be all about getting ready and all the excitement and all the build up. So today it's sort of become a yearly tradition for us really. We've come to Laycock. Um, if you've been around a while I'm sure you've seen it before. But uh, it's a lovely, lovely village in Wiltshire. Unfortunately, it is a bit of a drive away from us, although I've come here so much more often. Um, but yeah, it's another National Trust place and, well, I suppose the whole place is actually. The whole village is pretty much owned by the National Trust as well. But at the moment, we're just walking down the drive of um, the Abbey. So I'll show you around and I hope you enjoy watching. <laughs> you may of course recognise this as Hogwarts in Harry Potter. They filmed quite a lot of it here. I think the first film and the third film mainly. I think the potions class took place in here. Oh, that's nice. You found a nice dust There's no dust here. Oh, they've changed the hedges in there. Yeah, they have a bit. They've still got the funny woman. Stall on the wall. I like that. <laughs> You do know this is all going in the vlog, don't you? <laughs> Wow. 
How gorgeous is that? are back oh what a lovely Christmassy day that was like I said before we go to Laycock now pretty much every year it's such a beautiful lovely village it's you might recognize it from several filming locations understandably why it's just so old and medieval and beautiful <laughs> so couldn't we didn't have access National Trust properties tend to shut in the winter months but sometimes some houses open um, for Christmas and some don't and this one is a don't but the hall and the cloisters were open today which was nice because we didn't get to see those last year and it was really and it was really nice I don't know if you saw all the Christmas trees they're all done by local groups like Cubs Scouts primary schools I was, some, I was amazed that from quite a small village so many trees had come from different places which is uh, really nice so that was lovely and we timed it right because we got entry to there which we've been before and missed the last entry which always seems to be a bit earlier than what they advertise online but never mind and we also after having a little wander around the village made it to the tea room just in time before that closed as well so that was successful today, yes, yeah, so that was nice. And then we went off to Whitehall Garden Centre, which is just incredible. It's a lot of fun going to have a look around that garden centre, and it's thanks to Zoe Sugg, aka Zoella, that I discovered that garden centre because she's featured it in her blogs a few times. So we did, I did treat myself to a few new things I thought you might like to see. The first of all, this one, I'm really pleased with this. Look, it's just this little pretty Christmas tree with pearls on the end of the branches. And it's just so sweet and pretty. And I thought this is the perfect thing to stand in the middle of our dining room table. And it's so easy just to quickly pick up and move somewhere else when we want to put the tablecloth on and get all the food on the table. Because that's the problem with table displays. You have to work around them with particularly when you're feeding a lot of people you don't have space often for your actual christmas table display so i've got that to, for the table which i think is perfect i got a couple of these which sort of match with pearls in these glittery branches yeah i think they're going to go on the dresser <laughs> oh i don't know if you saw in last week's video how battered and tattered the Christmas tree box is. So that, because we're now worrying that we're gonna lose some branches in the loft. I bought a Christmas tree storage bag, not very fun, but and it'd be so sad to see that tree box go. I know this is silly, it's just a cardboard box, but we got that tree, I reckon, 17 years ago. And so, you know, the kids are small, they have <laughs> got, Judy's to hide in the box and make people jump. The cats always jump. We've got so many photos of our cats sitting in that box. <laughs> it's silly, but it's just like one of those silly sentimental things I'm gonna be a bit gutted to get rid of, but it, I know it's time, I know it's time. But the tree is still doing really, really well. That was a good buy. It wasn't cheap and it was a stretch for us at the time. It was 80 pound, and but it has just lasted and lasted and it's still, I mean, I think maybe the branches are starting to look a bit thin, but not really, you know, they're doing pretty well. Blah, blah, blah. I keep tripping over my words. <laughs> It's t I'm tired, it's the end of the day. I was meant to be going to our choir sort of Christmas do this evening, but sadly it's been cancelled. So I'm really gutted about that. Um, means I will have to save all those handmade Christmas cards that I did for that lot um, for next year, I suppose. Yeah, we, we really were gone the whole day. So I suppose look on the bright side, at least I'm not rushing about panicking to get out again, out of the house again in time. But the house is quite cold. So I've snuggled up in my cozy warm jumper because the rain hasn't been a little day because we've been gone. 
Luckily it's quite a warm day. We're not going through a cold spell at the moment, but I've seen the forecast and I think one is coming. Right, let me show you a couple of the other bits. I'll come and get you. Come to see what, oh, you need your face wash, Lyra. Come to see what we're doing, what we've got here. Look how pretty this bauble is. Jude spotted that one. So as it's pink, that will be going on our main tree, pink and white themed. Also for the main tree, I've got a couple of reindeer. They were really pretty. And then I've got a couple of these lilac ones. Just a gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful colour. So I had to get that. We also thought we'd treat ourselves £5.99. And this was the reduced price. What was it originally? Oh, it was originally £5.99. We got it for £3.50. Uh, we've got some lint chocolate spread. Thought we'd treat ourselves for Christmas. Um, I also bought while we were in Laycock dinner at Laycock in 1729. I just thought that's so fascinating. Put together by the Wiltshire Folk Life Society. And um, inside here we've got lots of recipes from what it was like back then and instructions and oh, just just lovely as you can tell I like all historical bits and bobs so I thought that was nice that only cost 50p in the Laycock bookshop <laughs> and this yellow tub here oh I felt so, I well I still do I feel so so bad there were so many places so many houses and Laycock selling things outside of their house I guess because they get a lot of passing traffic and Rain spotted this lovely plant pot that she was going to use to put her bake up brushes in. And I dropped it at the cafe. Oh, I feel so bad. Let me see if I can show you a glimpse of the pattern. Look, I mean, that is just so rain, vintage and pink. But we kept the pieces. I am going to try and glue that together, particularly as it doesn't need to be watertight or anything. It's just for her brushes. And yeah, they're really kind people at the National Trust Cafe gave us this tub and wrapped it all up in this tissue for us so that was really nice of them yeah i'll just get the super glue out and see what i can do well i thought continuing the christmasy sort of day i would do a little bit of wrapping i've got some plain brown parcel paper is that what you call it parcel paper like brown paper and um i've also got next to me here i do want to try and be as environmentally conscious as I can, or perhaps not as I can, I probably could do definitely more, but but I but it is definitely things that are on my mind. And for sure, wrapping paper, I'm gonna be using only recyclable paper. Uh, but I have quite a lot of things here. This box goes in and out, in and out, in and out of the roof, and I hardly ever touch any of the contents. So this year, I wanted to get the stuff out that it's just been gathering for years, hanging around and not getting used. So I thought I'd use it for wrapping up some of the presents. For example, I've got this um, metallic curling ribbon. Like I said, not very environmentally friendly, but I may as well, if it's gonna end up in the bin, I may as well use it. So I've got that. I've got, like, so in this bag, we've got like bits of red crepe prep paper and oh this can really oh this this does this box needs to sort out i haven't probably lit through it look i've got just some metallic paper this is all probably stuff oh hello rafiki this is all probably stuff from when the kids were small and we were doing the christmasy crafts like you do with the children look we've got a wire i think that's supposed to be a star <laughs> there so i just thought i'd have a dig around oh that's a lovely ribbon that's pretty so this sort of stuff i'm just gonna use up it's a, sometimes it's like things like this for example i think oh that's, that's too good to use i'll just keep hold of that no this year i'm gonna use it but i'll put that out keep that out i've got some metallic silver gift tags well you know i may as well use them they're not very they're a bit battered now not exactly pretty but i may as well use them but i do normally these are old Christmas cards. And what I do last year's Christmas cards becomes this year's gift tags. So I'll cut them up. I've got a star hole punch and then that becomes my gift tag thing that I tie it to. 
and we've got some more metallic ribbon that's really pretty more ribbon so oh more ribbon <laughs> so yeah basically i want to try and empty this box as much as i can and use that for wrapping and i need to get on with it too because we are entertaining this year we do a sort of every other year system with our families because they all live in kent we left we left kent we used to live there too and uh of course they were due to come last year but as it was we couldn't see them so we've just carried over on into this year but the first batch <laughs> arrived the week before christmas and so i need to get cracking because blimmin hell this month is going fast yeah well all the best laid plans and everything it's actually two days later now um yeah we just i just realized i was hungry i hadn't eaten very much that day and you know once we've played with the dog and cooked to dinner and the, the day was over but i have managed to glue together rain's pot so i'm really pleased about that So here we are. Rain was really pleased when she saw it, so I'm really glad about that. This is definitely the best side with that crack hardly showing on that bit down there. But um, keep turning it and a uh, bit of a sort of overlap here. And then I really struggled with the last two pieces um, here and here. I just couldn't get it to go in very well at all I was like shifting it forward and backward forward and backwards and obviously we've lost some some pieces in this corner but I'm going to use this tacky glue and just run over it quite thickly in the hope that it will be enough of a barrier so that because I mean particularly this bit here and why the did rain like went to hold it and she moved her finger where th it, this would probably cut your skin so um yeah i'm just going to run this over all of the cracks it'll make it help it be stronger as well okay it means we, you will see a sort of a line along the cracks but rainer she didn't mind that so i think that's probably the best solution The glue is currently drying, the, it's meant to dry clear and I think it's going to look okay, you know? Obviously a broken pot glued back together but I kind of like that. Oh, I was making a racket. And um, I don't know if you've seen, I can't remember the proper name for it and I think it's Japanese where they glue together pots and then they use coloured resin in some of the cracks and think, oh, I love that, it looks so pretty. But we just wanted to get, I, I knew if I said, oh, well, I'll do it with fancy resin, I knew it wouldn't get done. So the best thing to do is just glue it. And fingers crossed, she'll be able to use it fine. So I am now about to do the actual Christmas wrapping. I kind of have to, I'm really running out of time. And actually I wanted to ask you guys for a Christmas present and it's not gonna cost you anything. But if you've been enjoying this channel this year, or if you've just found it and are enjoying this video, <laughs> I love that you spend time with me, I really do. And I would really like it if you could do me this little favor. And that is, could you just pause this video and click on my name so you get to my main page on YouTube. And then could you copy the link at the top there and if you're on Facebook or if you spend time on Twitter could you please paste that link in and just tell people why you like this channel I would just appreciate it so much I really um, would like to grow this channel to the point where I, I feel uncomfortable talking about this because I do love making videos I love it that's why I do it I've been doing it now for six years maybe a bit longer than that actually uh, but I really would like to get it to the point where 
I'm earning minimum wage for the time, you know. I have a couple of Patreon supporters who I appreciate so much and that really does help. But um, yeah, if you could just tell your friends about the channel and try and spread the word so that I can just maybe um, get to that point, I would. Um, that would be amazing. That would be amazing if I could actually call this part of my earnings, you know, because it takes up so much time, and, but I love doing it. So it's that really <laughs> So yeah, if you could pause the video and do that right now, I'd love you forever. Mwah! <laughs> okay, back to the present wrapping. I've got my paper, I've got my notebooks I can tick off when I've done everyone's presents so that I don't get confused and end up pulling back the sellotape to try and think who was that for, what was that, did I wrap that up and all that sort of thing. I did a video in a vlogmas years and years ago about my Christmas organising and I find it, I just, I don't know how people, I don't know how people could manage without a Christmas notebook, I really don't, so I list everybody's presents ideas, what I've ordered, what's arrived and what I've bought and you know all that sort of thing and then I've got a little tick box for when it's wrapped and so that's what we're going to do now. So folks, I think all that's left for me to say is have a very Merry Christmas and season's greetings. And if you're not celebrating Christmas, perhaps it doesn't feel right to celebrate it this year. It's been one of those years. And um, just have a, a lovely, peaceful few days. So I just, yeah, I hope you have a lovely few days. I'm sorry if you can hear the tumble dryer in the background. I have still got so much to do. The house, it's not until you really start tidying it up and cleaning it up that you realise how much there is to do. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing family. I'm a great, I became a great aunt a couple of months ago and we'll be seeing, and we'll be seeing the little baby for the first time. So that's exciting. I haven't collected the greenery yet. Like I usually go ivy collecting and some you get some eucalyptus leaves in as well. But I usually do that on the winter solstice, which hasn't happened yet as I'm filming this. So I might save that for a little clip for my Christmas vlog maybe. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm at that point in the video where I just feel like nattering on a bit. But I won't because it's bedtime and I need a good night's sleep because I've got some last minute Christmas shopping to do tomorrow. So we'll leave it at that. Just one last thing to say, and I think I know I'm promoting myself a bit in this video, but it's probably because I was listening to a business podcast about sort of not, about being brave, being courageous and selling your stuff and uh, promoting, if you're selling a course, promoting yourself a bit more often and that sort of thing. And so, I thought I would mention my Patreon if you would like to support this channel I would appreciate it so much and as people are often at a loose end between Christmas and New Year or early New Year um, I thought perhaps it might be a nice time to catch up on some of my videos your first payment will give you access to all previous posts so there'll be um, plenty of content to watch there and to keep you entertained and uh, and your support would be hugely appreciated so there we go I said <laughs> I can tick that off my boss babe list oh I hate that sorry I apologize I said boss babe I didn't mean to um, <laughs> I hate that term anyway uh, yeah Merry Christmas, season's greetings, and I will probably see you in the new year. Take care everyone, and thank you very much for joining me in 2021. I'll see you next year, take care, bye.